Warning, the following show contains strong language as well as heavily opinionated thoughts. If you're easily offended or cannot handle the opinions of others, you should close this video now. Hello, welcome to another episode of That Video Game Show. I'm Nicky Vancho. And I'm Kenny Gamash. And today we're doing... Castle Crashers revisited in our revisited month. This is week number three. I don't think they're ready for this. The, you guys are not ready for this. Uh, it is so good. We're going to show you some new characters that have never been seen before on this show. Yeah. And some that have been before. Yeah. So we're going to pick up right where we left off on the last playthrough, minus one retarded ass person. Yep. We actually have people who actually enjoy this game yeah. and play it. All right. So we it's the two people that are going to be playing the... Pink Knight, and I have no idea who my brother's gonna be, but I'm. He's the I'm, rabbit, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's gonna be the rabbit. Or the bear thing. Or the bear thing. All right, so I'm the purple knight. Kenny's I'm, Hattie Haddington. I'm this thing with the square head. That's yeah, fine. and uh, my brother's girl is the Pink Knight. All three of these characters were DLC on the Xbox for a long ass time and then they finally came to the PlayStation which is another reason why we're revisiting this. So now that you guys know who we are and what we're doing I'm gonna make it rain. We're gonna get into I'm making it rain right into now. This game. So if if you've never played Castle Crashers It's the greatest game. It is it's, it's it is a great really fun game. Up. It's really fun with people. Definitely. I make it rain a lot. Yeah, shit goes down in this bitch. There's rainbows getting thrown. So the pink one throws the rainbows if you've never seen the first one, first episode. Yeah. And the, uh, my character, which is the DLC which, with the square head, makes it rain. Hattie Haddington. Hattie Haddington. He throws diamond gems, emeralds, and he, like, makes it rain. <laughs> Look at him go. He just... That's pretty awesome moving, don't lie. Yeah, the, your little mini thing, that little whale thing, yeah. is, uh... He's one of those little pet things that you can get, and I think he increases how much money you can get, like when you pick him up on the ground. Ooh, that's what he will do. So, are we gonna be playing that game one day soon? Yes, actually, that will be for the next episode, which will be Thursday of this week. All right, will be the sequel to this, although not technically Castle Crashers Two. It, it's the next game that the Behemoth, I think that's the name of this game. They made that, and it's called a Battle Block Theater. Sounds interesting. I cannot wait to play it. Yeah, I'm not going to get into it's, a whole lot of detail with that It's one. pretty much going to be awesome as this, I have a feeling. Well, let's hope. We're going to be a good luck to You have wings. I don't know exactly how my character has wings, but I have wings. I'm pretty sure we'll find out a lot more about your character in uh, Battle Block Theater. Okay. I like how he's got the green like trail on the end. Yeah, the gems. That's me. So, uh... All these characters are $1.99 on the PlayStation Store. And with the characters, they come with, I think, three new weapons. Which are? I don't actually remember the weapons names. None of them are very good. No. No. Not better than, like, the stick that we're using right now, beating people in the face with? Well, I mean, some people have their favorite weapons, and some weapons are actually debatable on which one is the best weapon, but the club that the Purple Knight's using, yeah. Hattie Hattie's using, and the Bear's using... Give you, uh, I think, five strength and I think five magic, but it might be defense. And it's technically the best weapon for actually just punching people in the face. So that's why we chose that weapon. But how many times we really punch people in the face in this game? Come on. A lot. Although it is kind of weird when you cut their head off with like a giant bat. You hit it so hard, you bopped it off. Yeah. This game's pretty violent though for a cartoony game. In the options menu, you can turn the gore off. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't why would you want to do that? I, I was actually thinking that when I found it in the options. I was like, why would you ever want Maybe to do that? Maybe you want your kids to play it. Yeah. Tornado, huh? Steven's tornado in it, or is that you? Uh, he's the tornado. Uh, the Black Knight, he throws flaming anvils, as you can see. And, uh, he has, like, this weird springboard thing. And he also has a, uh... A frog tongue that hits people. You gonna show us that frog tongue? Uh, you'll, you'll, oh, there you'll, it yeah, is. Right there. Look at that frog tongue. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. Hold on. 
Now, the story behind the Black Knight is he I would actually kind of say that he was kind of fan made cuz if you go to where you go to select your weapons, you see a knight hitting the anvil over and over again and the giant frog is where you run into to get your weapons. Yeah. And if you look closely like on his chest, you can see like he has this uh, purple cross and he actually had the purple cross even before like the character was even made. So people always thought he was the purple knight and then they put him in the game for that. Kind of like how Ermac in Mortal Kombat never really existed. Here we go. The greatest ending to a boss battle. All right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbowed bitch. Death by rainbow. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I never knew that. And uh, it took years for the Purple Knight to come to the PlayStation. And I was going back for the revisited month looking at episodes I wanted to redo. And I found out that they released these other characters on the PSN. And I was like, oh, even better reason to go back to this episode. I'm glad you did. Yeah. I had a lot of fun playing this game. So... Some of the reasons why I decided to go back to this one was because, one, if you watch the one with me, my brother, and Shane, it was recorded in 480 because at the time I didn't have the technology to record it in 1080. So that's another reason you guys are watching this in glorious 1080. I know how much everybody loves that. And uh, Shane took over like 10 fucking minutes to start the game because he couldn't figure out how to pick his fucking character. I'm not even lying. Like, I watched that again. I'm like, seriously? This is fucking retarded. So, hope you enjoy us coming back to this, because we continued. Maybe if we actually did a part three to this, you guys might actually be able to see the full game. Because it's, it's not very much longer after we get past this part. And if you want it, we'll yeah, do it. Yeah, if you want us to play it, just let us know. We love this game. This game is totally awesome to play. As you can tell. We're fighting like, pirate ninjas right now. Yeah, pirate in ninjas. In case you're wondering. Like... Normal games, there's either a ninja or a pirate. This game has pirate ninjas. Who, when they die, turn into logs. With, or fruit. Yeah. <laughs> like, as you can see, we love this game. I mean, it's got, what, three out of the four characters are level 99. Yeah. Although, granted, that's not from hardcore grinding. There's actually... There's a kind of like... It's not really a cheat. There's a way to grind it out toward on the painting boss towards the very end of the game. You can do it that way. Oh, yeah, I'm that. Gotta get the stupid creature to attack him, right? And they stay in the corner. Yeah. Or if you wanted to do it quick, fast, and in a hurry, you could just use Game Genie for PS3. Or you could do that. Yeah. But we're not gonna go into that. No, we're not. <laughs> um. That ship just got blown up. Is that the end of the level? That was fun. Like, annihilated everything. The music to this game is so is. awesome. It's like crazy rave techno rock music. Oh. And like if you go back and watch the first episode of this, you can see um, the forest level when the when everything decides it wants to shit itself. <clears throat> oh, it's so good. Because they're all scared of that creature. Yeah. It's a good level. What does the pink one keep getting shot up out of? Is that like um, some kind of a regen? Like, that, that? that is a um, mongoose dildo. <laughs> I don't. Do I wish I knew more about the pink one. I really do, because I honestly don't know where it came from. But I definitely think it's definitely the most original. Isn't it? Wasn't it for breast cancer awareness? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know. Yeah, I think you're right. I think but you're I don't right. know like where they got the idea for the rainbow and like the weapons and everything. It's kind of outrageous. It is really outrageous, and like it throws penguins and like weird things. God, that is weird. <laughs> I mean, my character's pretty weird, too. I show, I throw, like, gems and, like, shoot, like, silver or some kind of weird icicle out of my hand or something. And I got wings. But, I mean, I can't wait to actually play that game and figure out why I have a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's, def that's really definitely going to be good. It. So is that game up for the PlayStation Network, too, or is it just Xbox? Uh, Battle Block Theater is only on the Xbox, which is why we're going to be playing it on the Xbox. Now, granted, I did not buy it. It was a free game on the Xbox with gold. So that's another reason why I was like, well, you know, I guess we could do this. It's going to be pretty sweet. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I know this game came out for Steam, too. Casual Crashers. I think it has a little DLC. In it yeah, too, it I'm did. Sure. Cause I actually, I did rebuy this game on um, the Xbox for just to play the uh, Purple arrows. Knight. It's got money attached to it. 
and make it rain. I like how the purple one has the pixelated hearts. Like it's not like a normal like graphic heart, it's those little mini pixelated ones. They're really cool. I'm gonna make it rain with my arrows. Make it rain. I really do like the art style of this game. Like it's it's really awesome looking. And it looks really good in HD. I wish it was longer. I, I don't understand. Like, cause after you, like, we beat it in the you unlocked the insane mode. Yeah. Or even, like, make a sequel to it. I wish there was a sequel to it. I really did like this you, game. You've had that gripe with this game the entire time. I know. There's 31 characters. I know. And there's, like, how many? There's a lot of levels, too. But I feel like I just want to keep playing it. Like, even when you beat it the first time, you were like, I wish it was longer. I'm like, I don't understand that. Beat it again with one of the other characters. That was so awesome. I just to keep going. I just wanted, or, or, like, an expansion. They need to, like, make Cash Crashers, too. It was ridiculous on the Xbox version of this. Like a lot of the characters that we got on the PlayStation version, you had to pay for. Like I remember, um, there was a King pack for the Xbox version. There was a Necromancer pack for the Xbox. But you, you unlock those from like when they yeah, you just like, unlock those characters. Yeah, huh. you had to pay for them on the Xbox. God, that would piss me off. Especially if you found out that you could get it for free if you just played the game with certain characters. Yeah. So but you couldn't do that on the Xbox. You just had to. Do you think leveling up in this game is difficult? Hmm. Not really. It just... It's like any game. Like, when you get higher, it takes longer. Yeah. And you just start looking for ways to fasten the process. <laughs> yeah, the pink Steven, one was having a little trouble there. She was there. stuck in the ground. Yeah. I like your little helmet. There's, like, antlers on it. Yeah. It's pretty cute. That's why I like it. So why, are we, why do we have the bird pets? Okay, well, all of us are supposed to be using the Raven, and I just googled what was the best pet, and for insane mode, the Raven came up a lot, because the Raven, it attacks down enemies, but it also brings you fruit, which actually helps a lot in insane mode. That's good to know. Yeah, whereas, like, I don't know what the fuck the Cardinal does. And the Giraffe helps you level up faster, that's why the Bear has the Giraffe. Makes sense. Um, so the pink knight, it, it says that there was a pink knight and, it, and it's an unlockable character for the Xbox Live version of Super Meat Boy with five new weapons. I don't, I don't know what the that fuck that means. sounds so familiar. Super Meat Boy? Is it like a red little thing? Yeah. Oh, I played that game. That game has bitchin' music. I actually have it on my iPod for music for when I go to work. Yeah? Yeah. I've never played that game. It's awesome. I, oh, I don't know. After this, I'll let you listen to it. I would put it on this on this episode, but you'd probably be like, no. It won't sound this good. But yeah, you were right about the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So thing. that was donations? I did, think so. Did, do they it, yeah, along with the blacksmith pack. Do they explain like why it has like weird moves and rainbows? No, they don't girl. say anything about that. The spark spawn, you like, hurry up and run. And if you don't get out in time, you blow up and die. Yeah, this part is not fun by yourself. Uh, when I, because before we did this, we did a, a little test play before. It's well, I did, so I could it. figure out what the hell I'm doing when we play this. And before this, I ran left instead of right. And had to redo this fucking thing. She's Pink like one really loves over. that little. She's trying to like thing. jump over it. Oh yeah. But she can't. <laughs> what happens to her? <laughs> and there's no way for the fourth one to get out anyway. So what happens to her? Does she die? <laughs> <laughs> you see her get thrown down, that's so awesome. Mega rain. With money bags. Most of the time I get pissed off at game ports, but I really hope they port this to the PS4. I totally play it. I know, PS4. so would I. If they added like extended more We knew levels. you were getting with that long or like, that extended. Or like stuff. part two. That'd be awesome. I really hope they do make a sequel to this, but it doesn't say anything about it. And like the story kinda ended at the end of it anyway. Yeah. But I mean they could always like redo it or like you know what I mean? The guy comes back or something and steals the crystal again. Yeah. Kind of like Mario. Yeah, kind of like Mario. That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking about when I was playing how, this game. How, like, he always takes Princess Peach. 
Because when I was replaying it over again with uh, Purple Knight, I was yeah. thinking, I was like, how could they do a sequel to this? And I was like, wait, they could just do what fucking Mario does. Redo the same concept. Over. But he grabs a different crystal and this crystal's yeah. more powerful. Yeah. So I guess I'll go into the release dates for this. So it originally came out on the Xbox, and that came out August 27th, 2008. And then it came out on the PlayStation 3, uh, August 31st, 2010. So that took three years to come out. Wow. I'm like making it rain over here. These scorpion things are getting it. And then as of 2012, it came out on the PC and uh, like shooting money at people. Ah, take my money. <laughs> hit by the scorpion tail. And as of right now, I don't see any information about a sequel to this game. Of course not. What's this company doing now? Does it say? Or uh, hold on. Yeah. So yeah, it was developed and published by uh, the Behemoth. And they also made that one, the character I'm playing, right? And that's a newer game. Yeah, the the one that your character is. The newer game, this is Battle Block Theater. Uh, according to Wikipedia, they made three games Alien, what, Humanoid, Hominoid, I don't know how the fuck you say it, hmm. and then Castle Crashers, and then Battle Block Theater. The aliens actually in this game, too, is like, you know, a secret character. Really? Yeah. Is it uh, that thing that you killed with the yellow helmet? No, like you can pick him. He just he looks like an alien. You were fighting the aliens before, remember? Yeah. Yeah, it's those guys. Oh, okay. Like, I'm trying to blow this up, but I can't. I'm gonna show you guys a secret little dude. It's a kitty cat. But I don't have why, why are you talking so so low? Am I talking low? Yeah, you're like what? No, I was trying to blow up this little thing. I saw like Michael off. Jackson for a second. Uh, little Michael. Little Michael. I don't know. Um. But yeah, so, that cat over there, I'm not getting it. Yeah, not getting the kitty. I don't have no bombs. No kitty. This game does do a really good job of, like, replay value, though. Like, with the certain, like, the getting that one first level we did, you have to have the sandwiches to get buffed. Yeah. To break down the door. Yeah. And that, to get that, and they get that little creature, get the, the bombs. Which I think you buy from the store or something. Yeah, you buy them from the store. How many weapons are in this game? There's a lot of weapons. There in is game. a shitload of weapons. You say like, is it like 50? Or like I have no idea. It is, it, that, I don't have the exact number. Uh, but a, to answer your question, Wiki says, uh, Behemoth is currently in development on an unannounced Xbox One exclusive. Oh God. So. I might have to get an Xbox so, One. So yeah, you never know, they might make a sequel. I'd be super pissed. I'd be like, damn it, Nick. That'd be so awesome. I'd buy that shit in a heartbeat. I'd be over here playing it. But granted, I'm pretty sure that the reason why this game took so long to come to the PS3 was due to the architect archetype of the PS3. Yeah. About how every developer talks about how hard it is to code for. So, I don't think it would be so long if it did go to the Xbox One. Unless that weird exclusive thing lasts longer. Penguins. But Battle Block Theater came out April 3rd, 2013, so it wasn't that long ago. This is volleyball. This is actually a mini game. You can actually play volleyball in the game. I'm sure Nick showed you in the other one. Uh, like no, I don't think we've seen volleyball in the other one. Oh, we, yeah. If you just want to play volleyball, you can. I need to do that trophy, actually. There's a trophy for get 20 consecutive bounces back and forth that I don't have that I need, that I need to do, that I should do. As you can tell, we're raping the shit out of this volleyball. Yeah, the game. best, the best, the best part about this is you can hit them and make them fall, and then the ball fall, and, hit, yeah. and scores in point. That is the best part of this game, so you can cheat it and rape it. Because playing fair, it just isn't as fun. Nope. That should be like the slogan for Game Genie. It really should. That would be actually a really good one. Because playing fair just isn't as fun. I like that. We're, we're coming up with all kinds of good stuff today. Yeah. We did good. Yeah, we did. Get some experience. The fuzzy bears in a... Whoa, got some XP. All right. Moving on up. 
think we're gonna do one more. Ooh, can I pick the level? Uh, maybe. Where, where do you want to go? Can I pick the corn boss? Because it's freaking hilarious. The corn boss. Corn boss is pretty. Good. I think it's on the right. If you'll let me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. Do you have time maybe. for that? Is it like a, it's right there. I mean, we're at 20 minutes now. I guess we'll do the corn. This boss. is the one of the best bosses in the game. I feel. Because it's ridiculous. This boss is pretty good. Because you hit it and it turns the popcorn. And it's funny because it has like this weird animation when it comes up out of the ground. And you can eat the popcorn. God, this boss makes me so hungry for popcorn. That is really ironic coming from the person that wanted to fight the popcorn boss. I think it's funny how you hit the corn and it turns the popcorn. Yeah. Maybe you can eat it. Wow, dude. You're really making it rain on that thing. Yeah, I am. This guy's getting pissed. He's like, Rawr. Wow, he just bitched left you and me. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna handle it. He does like the funniest animations when he comes up out of the ground. <laughs> God. That move is beast. We almost got him. There's pretty much no way for us to lose, though. So. Yeah, there really is. I'm not a level 99 on regular now. I guess Colonel White coming off his cob. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Oh, Get if you it. were wondering what like the best character in the game is. It's actually between the industrialist and the fencer. Is that the king? No. And it's because of their magic moves. Their magic has like this weird saw thing that destroys bosses really quick. Ooh. Surprisingly, none of us are that character, so. Sorry. Eat that popcorn. You can like eat all the popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. We are just eating the shit out of that popcorn. So, is that about it, right? Yeah, I think so. After this ends, let me get the horn. We got he just gave horn. it to my brother. He's like, here, just take this. Get away from me. Yep. Alright, well, that's going to conclude this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching us come back to Castle Crashers. Because we really enjoyed playing it. Yeah. And if you want us to continue Castle Crashers, just let us know in the comments below. We'd love to come back to it. If there's any other episodes you would like us to revisit that you think, wow, I wish that would have been better, or just the quality isn't good, or you just don't like looking at Shane's face, anything you want, just let us know. Other than that, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter. You got anything you need to say, Kenny? I love this game. Yeah, this game is pretty awesome. Make a sequel. Yeah, they really need to make a sequel. Yeah, they do. All right, till next time. Uh, I'm Nicky Vancho. And I'm Kenny Gamash. Talk to you guys later. With the square head. Makes it rain. Paddy Haddington. Paddy Haddington. He throws diamond gems, emeralds, and he like, makes it rain. <laughs> Look at him go. He just, that's a pretty awesome move, ain't gonna lie. Yeah, the, your little mini thing, that little whale thing, yeah. is, uh, he's one of those little pet things that you can get, and I think he increases how much money you can get. Like, when you pick them up on the ground. Ooh, that's what you will do. So are we going to be playing that game one day soon? Yes, actually. That will be for the next... Warning. The following show contains strong language as well as heavily opinionated thoughts. If you're easily offended or cannot handle the opinions of others, you should close this video now. Hello, welcome to another episode of That Video Game Show. I'm Nicky Vancho. And I'm Kenny Gamash. And today we're doing Castle Crab. And I have no idea who my brother's going to be, but I'm... He's I'm, the rabbit, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's going to be the rabbit. Or the bear thing. Or the bear thing. Alright, so I'm the Purple Knight. Kenny's I'm, Hattie Haddington. I'm this thing with the square head. That's yeah, fine. and uh, my brother's girl is the Pink Knight. All three of these characters were DLC... 
on the Xbox for a long ass time and then they finally came to the PlayStation, which is another reason why we're revisiting this. So now that you guys know who we are and what we're doing, I'm gonna make it rain. We're gonna get into I'm making it rain right into now. This game. So if if you've never played Castle Crashers, it's the greatest game. It is it's, it it's is a great really fun. Game. It's really fun with people. Definitely. I make it rain a lot. Yeah, shit goes down in this bitch. There's rainbows getting thrown. So the pink one throws the rainbows if you've never seen the first one, first episode. Yeah. And the, uh, my character, which is the DLC, which... Crashers revisited in our revisited month. This is week number three. I don't think they're ready for this. The, you guys are not ready for this. Uh, it is so good. We're going to show you some new characters that I've never been seen before on this show. Yeah. And some that I've been before. Yeah. So we're going to pick up right where we left off on the last playthrough, minus one retarded ass person. Yep. We actually have people who actually enjoy this game yeah. and play it. All right. So we, it's the two people that are going to be playing the pink knight 